Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome once again to linuxin.com YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Emacs uh, commands, okay? So Emacs commands, basically, they are either control characters, uh, you, you have to hold down the control key while typing another character, or they are the prefixed by one of a set of reserved characters, escape or control, okay? So the escape key can be typed by itself because it really is a character and then followed by another character. So the control key must be held down while the next character is being typed. Uh, the conventions for describing these characters that you might have seen inside the Emacs would be like C for control and ESC for escape. So right now you can see here here we have type ch it means control h and control a which would basically give you the information about gnu emacs and that and the gnu system okay so that's what we're going to do uh, to in today's video practically we're going to take a look at the commands and uh, we're going to press some of those commands and we're going to see that what happens uh, when we uh, press those commands basically okay so let me just closed uh, down the extra window of Emacs so now let's go ahead and let's try to um, do something okay with those commands so let me have a text editor in which I would write each command that I would use, okay? So first of all, uh, I'd write here CA. Remember that C I would use for control, okay? So CH and uh, CA, what it would do that it would basically give us the information, info about uh, GNU Emacs, GNU emacs and system okay so now let's go ahead and let's press c uh, control h and control a and now you can see that here we have been displayed uh, the information related to the gnu system okay so that is our first command so now let's jump in and let's try some other commands as well so if we press just control h or ch so in that case what would happen that it would basically give you the uh, all of this help okay this is basically a help command it will give you the first character in lots of useful help commands so a is for pattern uh, c is for keys c is for coding uh, capital c is for coding d is for pattern as well uh, F is for function and capital F is for command. Okay, so you can basically read uh, all of that. So let me just write here uh, C H and what it is for that it is for first character in lots of useful help commands. Okay, so the other command that we're going to discuss is that if you want to uh, if you want to help with the any tutorial so command to run the tutorial is basically c h and then you press t okay so it would basically display you the tutorial okay so you go back you press control h and then you press t and you can see that now you have been sent to the emacs tutorial okay so that's how you go to emacs tutorial using this command control h and then pressing t and if you press Control H and then you press I, this would basically describe most of the Emacs commands in man style pages that we have in terminal. Okay, so now if we press Control H and then press I, you can see that it displays all uh, things, all the stuff in man like pages. Okay, so right here, Control, the next command is CH and then we press I. It would basically display it like man pages okay so the other command that we're going to talk about that uh, it is control uh, control h excuse me just let me just cross it uh, we go to emacs we press control h and then we press k and you can see that here we have this message which says describe the following key mouse click or menu item so now you can click the mouse or you can press any key 
and you'd be able to see that what this key does so for example if i press y uh you can see that it says y is undefined okay so you know uh if i press again control h and then k uh, it says describe the following key mouse click or menu item so if i press q it says uh q runs the command info exit okay which is an interactive compiled lisp lisp function okay in info.el okay so here uh, that's how you basically work with control h and control key so you write here control h and then you press k and it basically is for describe key okay i hope you have got the idea okay so the next command that we're gonna uh, share with you is control h and then you press a okay so let's see what happens so if we press control h and then we press a uh, it basically prompts us for a command uh we, and now whatever we write here it would basically search the entire uh you know emacs commands uh, that contains basically the string that i'm going to put in here so for example if i put in here help so if i hit enter you can see that it has displayed basically all the commands related to help okay so here we have that okay so for that you can say that it is basically let me just write here uh, command search okay command search so uh, the next thing the next command that we have is basically related to the file uh, reading file saving file writing okay so these are the commands that uh, we are going to discuss now so if you press ctrl x and ctrl f like this so it would tell you uh, to find a file okay so now we can basically find a file in here okay so the next command is basically related to the find file if you press ctrl x and ctrl f it would basically prompt you to something like this where you can basically search so i know that my path is home uh, slash linux hint which is my username and then i want to go to my desktop uh, on on my desktop i want to find uh, the file which is program.py um, and if I hit enter, you can see that I have not only searched the file, it has opened the file here as well. And if I now, if I want to save it, the next command is related to that. So I have to press control X and then control S. Okay. So control X and control S basically saves the file. So let's go ahead and press ctrl x and ctrl s you can see that it says no changes need to be saved so let let me try to make changes and let's say i do it like 401 all right so now if i do the same ctrl x and ctrl s uh let, let me just yes so you can see that it says wrote uh and then the file path basically okay so that's how you make changes to the file so if you want to search and if you want to go to the uh, beginning of the uh, line then you press ctrl a and you can see that you are now in the beginning right so there is another command that if you want to go to the end of the line then you press ctrl e and now you can see the cursor is now at the end okay ctrl a is for beginning of the line beginning of line and uh, ctrl basically e is for end of line okay okay the next command is that if you press ctrl f you can see that it is basically moving one step forward okay so you press ctrl f ctrl f ctrl f it basically moves the cursor basically uh, one step forward then we press ctrl b which moves the cursor one step back okay so there are other commands like control uh, p which basically move the cursor to the previous line so if i press control p you can see that it is moving up the previous line so there are several other commands so let's say if you want to delete a specific character like one character then you press control d and you can see that one character is uh, deleted now right so i type it again uh, 
and I delete it again control D control D control D and you can see that basically I can delete all of them so if you want to delete a word specific then you have to press escape and then D okay so escape D basically would delete the entire word escape D escape D okay so uh, basically uh, if you come here again and if you press escape D you can see that entire word right after where the cursor is uh, has been deleted okay so if you want to basically kill the line killing line mean uh, the uh, delete the rest of the current line it would basically uh, cut it so you press control K okay so you press control K and you can see the rest of the line has been deleted so let me just go here and press control K and you can see the entire line has been deleted okay so the next command uh, is related to the search so if you want to search forward then uh, it would prompt uh, for text string and then searches from the current cursor position forwards in the buffer so if you press ctrl s uh, then you can see that here we have the i search uh, so if we write here let's say um, number and if we hit enter you can see that here we have this number okay so if you want to search backward you have you just have to press ctrl r okay so you press ctrl r and uh, it says i search backward and let me search um input okay so i hit enter and you can see that here we have input and here as well okay so that was the search forward and search backward as well so there are like different you know uh, several other commands as well so you can try them on your own so that's how basically you search forward and backward so um, that's it from this video uh, i hope you have enjoyed today's video you have learned something new for written articles keep visiting our website linuxin.com and i will see you in the next video